welcome 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 back to very meg initiative platform how are you guys doing today i welcome you all in the name of jesus christ i love you all for subscribing to my channel for viewing for liking for helping me to share the word of god thank you 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 you guys are so good you are so good you are so good i love you all but god love you more thank you so much and welcome also to those that are new in this platform, Veromeg Initiative platform. This platform is about talking about the will of life. It's an educational one. It's a relationship one. It's a spiritual platform. It's an emotional platform to talk about everything that involves life. Social, everything. Because Jesus is a social person. Jesus was celebrating with the sinner. Jesus was eating with the sinner. Was celebrating with the sinner. Prostitute every people that didn't know God because he came because of them he came because of us that we are sinners he didn't come for the righteous one because if he have come for the righteous one we, me, you that are living today who could have not been alive so Jesus is a, is, a, is a good man so Jesus is a social man today right now I'm talking about how Jesus was a social man you see Jesus he went to a place places that all those people that are religious don't want him to go. Ah, don't go there. Oh, you went there. Oh, that is sinner. Ah, that one is a sinner. Oh, that one you that is eating with that. Oh, that one did not wash his hand on her hand before she start, he started eating. Oh my God. Hey, that. Ah, my brothers and sister. My God is not a boring God. Mm -mm. It's not a boring God. My God is the one that created the universe. He created the heaven and the earth. He created everything that are wonderful in this world. God created everything. You see all the designer, all the designer bars, the designer everything. They will say, oh, they are demonic. Who told you that? Who gave people wisdom to design it? It's God. Because the Bible told us, he said in the beginning was God and the word was God. Everything God spoke. And everything became became alive. God speak and he created, he used his word, his communication to create everything. God is not a boring God. God speak to those that were sick and they become they became well. God speak to mountains, God speak to valleys, God speak to grasses, God speak to everything, and they became alive. So when people are talking about oh, mm -mm, we don't want to have party, we don't want to do that, we don't want to do that, we don't want to do that. I am not saying go to a party and be drunk and then become a drunkard. No. I don't want you guys to live in a boring life, to be a boring Christian. No. Jesus was not a boring, a boring man. Jesus was not a boring father. Jesus was an excited man. Jesus was a happy man. Jesus was a kind person. Jesus was so, so, uh, so transparent in what he was doing. Let us be like that. Let us emulate Jesus. Let us be like our father. Because we have to resemble our father. All he was doing, he was doing good. All he was doing, he was celebrating with people that don't even have a class. He was celebrating with people that doesn't really have a class. But to this society, oh, if you are not riding Jaguar, you are not going to be a friend with those that ride Jaguar. If you are not riding a Mercedes car, you are not going to be a friend of those that don't ride a Mercedes car. If you are not a, a, a graduate, you are not going to be a friend of those that are graduate. Oh, if you have no masters, mm, you are not going to be a friend that, with those that have masters. Oh, if you are not a professor, you are not going to be a friend of those that have a, a professor. Let me tell you, those are all pieces of paper. Those are all pieces of paper. I went to all school all my life. T58 years old. As I'm walking, I'm going to school. Walking, I'm going to school. If they are all piece of paper. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean nothing. It's just piece of paper. When you drive, you are not going to take anything there. Let me remind you. Jesus, <laughs> he did not go to one university. He did not go to one college. I have not read it in the Bible and said this is the school Jesus went. But he was the head of all the professors. He was the head of all the lecturers. He was the head of all the deans. He was all the head of all the professors. He was the head of all those that are the scholars of laws and whatever. He was the head. He was the head of all of them. Mm. Let me remind you again. 
Jesus, <laughs> I said, my God, is not a boring father. This Jesus that I am talking about, that I am happy to talk about, jubilating to talk about my Jesus Christ, celebrating every day. Hey, he, because he made me like him. Ah, the time, the time he was on earth. <laughs> he didn't he did, he did carry bag and say he's going to school, but he got the wisdom. Even when the parents went to go and pray, and then he, he, he disappeared, he was teaching the synagogue. They said, who is this? Is that not the son of a carpenter? Is that not the son of a carpenter? People are still doing that today. When they see a poor person, they see people they did not expect to do things, they do it. They say, hey, ah, when did this one know when to school? Ah, when did this man or woman, when did they acquire all this wisdom? They don't know that. It is God's wisdom. It is God that is giving you. It is God that is helping you. It is God that is giving you all those that you are doing. Or giving you all the knowledge, understanding that you are using. Like I'm talking here today. This is not me. It is God using me. If God says, say this, I come and say, I'm just only obeying what my father asked me to do. Because he's not a boring God. Church is not boring. Do guys shouldn't make it boring so that people will not be running away. Jesus did not say, don't go and, go, don't go and look at movie. Ah, they are looking at movie, they are going to hell. Oh, so all those people that are doing the movie, if you don't watch it and you are home, during COVID, movie, song, all of them, we are the one that we are keeping everybody because there was no, there was no way you can do anything anymore. Is that song and movie that you will watch in your television that was keeping people? If, for example... Everybody, we are saying, and like they were saying that they are all demonic. They are all going to hell. They don't know God. Many people could have died. Do you know how many people moving have had? Do you know how many people song have had? Do you know how many people uh, 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 drama have had? Do you know how many people have gotten a, a rescue or received Jesus through the, the, the TV, uh, through the, uh, 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 the, 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 the movie, or through the theater, through anything that they are showing the TV. When we were growing up, mm, there was a, a, one of our uh, choristers those days. Now he's a big pastor. He said nobody should have a TV. Nobody should watch TV. And no, no hearing, no TV, nothing. Everybody will have to be dry. Ah, many people were going, they were like that. I am not judging them. I'm only exposing Jesus to everyone. That Jesus is not a boring father. If the prodigal son father got, got a ring and put a necklace in the son's neck, that is, not, that is not a boring father. Jesus did not go against that. If Jesus himself went to bar. But when you are going, know who you are. Be a light. If you know when you get there, you are going to drink and bury your head in the bottle, don't go. Don't say, oh, very much initiative said the Christian should go to bar. If you know yourself. Because the Satan will use what you love to, to tempt you. If you know you are a drunkard, don't go. Don't go there and bury yourself in the bottle and say, oh, very much initiative said Christian can go to bar. Yes, Christians can go to a bar to go and, to, uh, to go and enjoy themselves there or buy what they want to eat there. In bar, they don't just sell all oh, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. They don't just sell barber bar stuff. Some are there. They can make uh, 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 fruits drink for you. There are many things they sell there. And then the one that they are selling only alcohol, you know that you cannot help yourself. Don't go because you want to put yourself in trouble. Why I'm bringing all this is that God is not a boring God. Jesus is not a boring Jesus. When that lady that helped Jesus, he knew the Spirit of God, though he was not a, a he was not a, 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 a righteous in the front in the front of in the front of human being, he knew that Jesus is going to be killed and going to be crucified. He went to break the the, the highest costly perfume in, in 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 Jesus' body, and then. He uses her hair to clean Jesus' feet. What is that? That was humility. That was that was God's, God's, God's love to, to humankind. And then, what did Jesus, what did the disciples say? Hey, they were judging this woman, like today. Oh, that one is wearing, is, is wearing a, 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 that. 
That one is wearing that. That one is wearing that. Nobody is a judge. Don't judge anybody. And I am this laughing as a Christian coach now to encourage people to spread the word of God, to, to tell people how God sees it. Not the way human beings see it. In our old Christian dawn, when they will just suffer everybody, they go to Leviticus and go and be looking all those Old Testament before Jesus came and use it to torment their wife, use it to torment their children, use it to torment their family. No, that is not how God is. Old Testament was not made for you to use to torment your family or your people in the church or outside the church. They, they, Jesus has come to fulfill the law. So he said, what is the greatest one? Is love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love God with all your heart. And treat your neighbors right. So, I am telling you guys, God is not a boring God. God, Jesus is not a boring Jesus. Jesus celebrated with all the sinner. Ate with them. Drank with them. And that is why he, they followed him. That is why they, he, they were converted. That is why a uh, uh, task collector followed him. That is why many people follow him. So that we are not righteous. So today, I want us all of us to love people, to say, to 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 introduce people, introduce God, Jesus to people in a social way, in a fun way, in a fun way, fun, 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 fun way, in a in a lovely atmosphere, in a in a in a jubilating way, not a boring way, so that they can follow you to Jesus, so that they can know this your wonderful Jesus, so that they can know our Father, so that they can know our 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 beautiful and handsome Jesus, because He's a handsome man. There is no man handsome than Jesus. There is no king greater than him. There is no person that is kind than Jesus Christ. Jesus is everything that I ever knew in my life and I will continue to know him. And that is why I present to you guys today that Jesus is not a boring God. He's a jubilating God. He's a happy father. He's a happy father. He's a bubble father. He's a father that loves dance. He's a father that loves to dance. He's a father that loves music. He's a father that loves movie. Even now, people are doing, they do movie of Jesus Christ. If a film was not good, why would they, why would they do it? Why, how will you see Jesus if you don't look TV, you don't watch, you don't? All I'm telling you, do everything in moderate. Do everything with wisdom. Do everything to the glory of God. Do everything the way God wants you to do it that will not draw you away from the will of God. And let parents encourage their children. Do not let your children be bored and go and be putting themselves in things that they don't want because their house is so conservative that they don't have freedom. And when they get outside, they fall into trouble. They are looking for peace where there is no peace. They are looking for confirmation where there is no confirmation. They are looking for belonging where there is no belonging because why? In the, their house where they are from, they are so conservative. No TV, no phone. Everything is boring. Please do not lead your children to all this thing that is going on today in the society because of the way you treat them at home, because of the way you make their life a hair, because of the way you make their life boring, because you present their Je your Jesus to them as boring Jesus. And I'm here to tell my people, to tell our children, to tell men and women, to all boys and girls, all my subscribers, all my viewers, all my people, that Jesus is a, is a, is not a boring God. He's a celebrating God. He's a lovely God. He's a, he's a honey God. He's a fun God. Let's have fun with Jesus. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for liking my video, for joining me to have fun with Jesus Christ Almighty, the owner of the world, the owner of all the beautiful things, the owner of everything, the creator of heaven and earth. Thank you, God. I love you all. Celebrate or continue to celebrate with Jesus. That the Jesus, that the Jesus of fun, not a boring Jesus. Love you all and have a nice and beautiful day.